In this video, I will introduce you to Cloudberry Backup for Microsoft Exchange Server. Let's run the program. The product will work only with locally installed Exchange Server. In the top menu, you can see Backup Microsoft Exchange button. Click on it to run the backup wizard. On this tab, you need to select the storage account. You can select different storage providers and also you can use local FTP and SFTP backup options. I will use already prepared Amazon S3 account. On the next step, you can name your plan. Now you need to select Exchange databases that you want to backup. The software automatically detects Microsoft Exchange Server databases on the computer, and there are two different types of those – Mailbox database and Public Folder database. On the next step, you can use Compression and Encryption. Then you can set up Porridge options. You can use defaults or specify your custom options. Now you need to specify a schedule. You can run your plan manually, you can run it on a specific date and time, and also you can use a recurring backup. I will select a recurring backup and set up a schedule on every Sunday at 12 am. Now you need to set up full backup schedule. I set up it monthly on the first Sunday at 12 am, so in my example on the first Sunday I will have the full backup of my databases and on the other Sundays in this month I will have differential backups. Here we have pre-post action step. If you need to execute some commands or scripts before and after the backup, you can use this option here. On the next step, you can specify notification options. Now you can overview summary information about your backup plan. Finally, your backup plan is created and now click finish. And you can find your plan in the backup plan step. At the Backup Storage tab you can find some information about your backed up databases. You can get your 15-day trial version of Cloudberry Backup for Microsoft Exchange at cloudberrylab.com exchange.